Howdy y'all, this is Jared with Floody Lake Homestead and today I'm going to do one of my most requested videos of all time I believe and uh, I'm going to do a chinking video to how to chink a log cabin this is how I do it um, I'm not a professional so uh, don't take this for the gospel but it's worked for me and I've had good results so I'm going to show you how I do it Alright, first off, here's some of the tools I use when I'm a chinkin. And uh, the basics of them, I've used, I've got three kinds of trails that I use. For a larger crack, I use my 12 inch block laying trail. Then I have this smaller trail that has the uh, rounded point and it's kind of narrow. It's only about an inch and a half wide. I like, that's probably one of the most used ones. Then I have this little bigger, like a brick trail. And uh, I use it quite a bit. And then for um, small uh, cracks and around joints, I use this little, um, I'm not sure what you call this, but it's some kind of little trail I found at the hardware store. And I think it's for, uh, you know, brickwork and stuff. And uh, I use it quite a bit for small cracks. And then if I have any bark left, uh, I use this chisel to uh, take the bark off the top. And then uh, sometimes I use this little putty knife. It's kind of handy. But them's my basic tools. You wouldn't have to have all these about any trail. I'd recommend a small trail if mainly and a, a large trail. Alrighty, here's my uh, chinking mixture that I'm making. And um, it's Portland cement, sand, and powdered lime. And it's, uh, I believe the uh, ratio in the log cabin book I have is 931. So m 9 sand, 3 mortar, and 1 lime. So I'm going to... Uh, Set the camera down here, get my water, and I'll show you the consistency I like it. Alrighty, I got this mixed up. And the way I kind of tell, I get it where it's... Uh, I mean, I could probably put a little more mortar in it. Uh, I want it to be where it'll stick on the trail a little bit. You don't want it thin. I'd rather have it too thick as too thin. Because it'll fall out of the cracks on you. But when it uh, sticks to the trail like that pretty good, that's where I normally like it. So we'll go over here and give this a try. Alrighty, so here's what I do. I get me a little chink in here on the side of my trail and you see there's my crack and I've got my nails in there. I know I don't use the metal lath or the wire because it's pretty costly and the nails seem to do pretty good for me. I put them about every three inches or four. One in the top log and one in the next in the bottom log. I alternate and that just helps give your chinking something to bind to. And uh, I just get him started in here. And then I work him in. And I'll fill in that little low spot. But uh, the main thing with chinking, if, if you don't take nothing from this video, if you notice, I've got a, a space right here. This is a drip edge. The top log, you always set your chinking in. I set mine in about, I don't know, that was about three quarters of an inch, a half inch, three quarter. It's probably a good a number, maybe an inch. It depends how big your crack is. And you bring it out flush with this bottom log. That is very important. And I just run my trail along that bottom log. And that way when the rain comes and it hits this log, it'll come down and it'll drip onto this chinkin' and run <laughs> off. If you bring your chinkin' up level with this log right here, um, the water is very apt to get in behind it. And then you're going to have rot. So you got to have this drip edge on the outside. Inside you can do it flush. But the outside you must have this drip edge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my camera up here. And uh, I'm going to continue down this crack towards the window. And I do have fiberglass insulation in behind these. Every crack is full of fiberglass insulation. Uh, can't hardly see this when the log gets pretty tight in the middle. 
but uh, I'll show you the other crack when I, I can kind of see it but uh, that's what I do I'm gonna set her up and I'm gonna start chinking Alrighty, this here and this log there is a big crack that you see runs through the middle of the log and it's pretty deep. It's probably a, uh, about, you know, maybe an inch and a half, two inches deep. And I don't want water getting in here and settling and rotting my log. So what I do is I take my big trail and get me some chinking on it. And I just load my little trail up a little at a time. And I feed it in this crack and smooth it out. And I still leave me a little drip edge there. And uh, that way it seals it from the weather. And if water gets on it, it'll run off like the bit, like the rest of them. Alrighty, I, I brought my pan up here on the ladder with me. And uh, normally a drywall, a little drywall pan is really good for bringing up some chinking if you're on a ladder. Uh, when I get over, uh, higher than these cracks, I'll probably have to set up my little uh, scaffold. And I just get me some of my trowel here. And I start feeding it in. And you can also, if you're afraid, like if you're trying to be real easy and uh, you don't want it to slide off your trail, sometimes I'll take them, pack it down like that, and that way it kind of presses it firm. It's a little easier to work with that way. And uh, I'll fill me up a spot, probably 16 inches, and then I'll try to work it in. But I'll get me a little space fixed up get material in it first that way you got it's a little easier to smooth it up if you got a bigger span and uh, around this window right here I seal right up to the boards I haven't trimmed this window yet and I'll fill in around the trim as well when I trim now I'm just going to kind of and see like right here I need some more. I press it in good and you can kind of tell if you had a spot that you didn't get enough.
And uh, another good trick is sometimes if you want to slick it up a little bit more, dip your trowel in a little water. It'll help it smooth. Alrighty, there you go. There's that part. Nice smooth finish. And you got your drip edge and smooth to the bottom here. And you can take, if there's any little places sticking out, I just take my trowel and knock it off. And uh, we're going to move down, move all our ladders and stuff down now and keep it going. Mm -hmm.